here today, Atlanta City Council President Cesar Mitchell is a hero who certainly knows about transformational impact and is committed to positive change in his hometown. A native of Atlanta, Mr. Mitchell currently serves as the seventh president of the Atlanta City Council. An advocate for safer communities, he previously served eight years as a citywide council member with specific focus on police foot patrols and the transformation of a dangerous unpaved road in Southwest Atlanta into the much safer Cahaba Drive walking trail. He has championed key legislation facilitating economic revitalization, and in 2004, Mr. Mitchell created the Clean Green Team to keep Atlanta clean, green, and safe. Mr. Mitchell's College Prep Series is a college admissions exam preparation program that has enriched more than 4,500 middle and high school students and their parents as they make college plans. A model of lifelong learning himself, Mr. Mitchell is a graduate of Benjamin E. Mays High School. Yeah, you can say yeah for that. <laughs> I know I have some Mays High School students here today. Morehouse College and the University of Georgia School of Law. In March 2013, Mr. Mitchell was named a Henry Crown Fellow by the Aspen Leadership Institute. Mr. Mitchell models the idea that positive engagement flows first at home before it can impact the global community. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our speaker for this exciting occasion, Mr. Caesar Mitchell. Good morning. Good morning. I can't tell you how glad I am to be here, how honored I am to have the opportunity to deliver just a few words. Uh, and I will say this, after Yasmin's comments, after her testimony, really all I need to say is good morning, good luck, and goodbye. because you have heard it all from her to Dr. Thomas and the entire faculty and staff and leadership team at Atlanta Technical College, to Harold Mitchell and all the members of the Foundation Board of Trustees, to Jim Williams, my good friend, who is the chair of the board and all board members for the college. It is indeed an honor to be here today. Uh, I am also so honored to be here with someone who I consider my leader, Senator Vincent Ford. I'm also so impressed to see all of the family and friends who are here celebrating this wonderful occasion. Thank you for having me. And finally, and certainly not least, to the graduates the 2015 graduates of the Atlanta Technical College, I salute you. Congratulations, and I certainly stand, certainly in honor of what you've done. That's why my speech is gonna be short, because we gotta get to the business over here of conferring these degrees. I will say, though, when I received the invitation, from Dr. Thomas to be here, I knew that I could not turn down that opportunity. And I then got a call from Terry Scope and then Ms. Gripper made a mention of it. And then some other folks that I know that you all know just would every now and again to say thank you for making a decision to come and be the speaker here. Uh, and so it is indeed my pleasure to be here. I was not going to turn them down, but I also wanted to be here in this moment in time, in this space, in this energy, uh, because it's not every day uh, that I have the opportunity to celebrate triumph and success. And to be here with you today to triumph with you, to experience this success 
with you is something that I indeed did not want to miss. I could not miss the chance to see the pride on your faces, the pride in your loved ones who have worked with you, who have sacrificed with you, who have given to you, who have cried with you to achieve this wonderful goal. As you sit here thinking and looking, I really see in you not just your graduation regalia, I see hope, I see promise, I see excitement. And I'm sure you are reflecting on your time here at Atlanta Technical College, reflecting on all that you have done, your trials and your tribulations, the classes you took, the professors that gave you an A, a B, a C. And I know you're thinking sometimes other things about the professors that gave you maybe a lower grade than that. I know you are reflecting on your family members who again supported you in this moment in time. You may be thinking to yourself how like all goals we're pursuing, getting here today was not easy at all. More than likely from the moment you enrolled, life had a way of making you ask yourself was the journey worth the effort? Did it make sense for you to get up on a day when you weren't feeling so well? When you maybe had a sick child or a sick parent that was calling on you, that needed your help? You had to think to yourself, is it worth it for me to believe in myself, to, stake, to take a step forward and pursue my dreams, to elevate not only myself, but my family, my entire community, and my city. Those days when you watched your friends go out on a Wednesday night to hang out, and you had to stay home and study for the exam the next day. And while some of you I know found a way to get out for at least an hour, I know you would not be here if you didn't come in a little earlier than your friends to be prepared for the day ahead. That's the kind of sacrifice that has you here today. That's the kind of commitment from which you did not waver. And that is why you are going to be graduates of the Atlanta Technical College. <clears throat> When I learned the many stories of what you as graduating, as a graduating body, have overcome to sit here today, your theme of beyond boundaries is quite fitting. Many of you as first generation college graduates pushed the boundary and have changed your family trajectory for generations to come. Some among you reached beyond the boundaries of grief and are sitting here today in honor of someone who is watching this ceremony from afar. The stories of pushing through boundaries are as diverse as your reasons for pursuing your degree with one common thread. Each of you had the resolve to get it done regardless of the obstacles that were placed in your way. As you leave the familiarity of Atlanta Technical College, I want to remind you that there will be other boundaries that you will face, other barriers to break. Life will always challenge you to prove that you really want the goal that you are pursuing. But when those challenges come and you feel like David needing to slay your own personal Goliath, move beyond those boundaries without hesitation or fear. For the boundaries are man-made, and the challenges, and the snares, and the trips, and the dangers do in fact exist. But keep in mind, fear is a construct in your mind, and only there. So overcome your fear. Do not let it become bigger than you. And just as your time here at ATC has shown, the only true thing that stands in your way is the resolve in your heart and the will to push through. 
And I just finished my speech. I, it was written out for me. So I'm just going to talk to you for a couple of minutes. I'm here because you give me strength. I'm here because I know that you have come over the way that has been watered with tears. I know that you have come through a path that has been shed with blood. That means somebody sacrificed for you. Somebody deferred and gave up their dreams for you. Somebody got sick and died so that you can be here today. And so while I know that you don't have to be told to do right and to do good, when I'm here to tell you that this is your opportunity to make a difference and to give back. You are in a special place, in a special time, with a special set of skills that not only you need, but this community, our city, our neighborhood, our young people, this world needs at this moment in time. I remember being at the Christmas party for ATC several months ago and I learned an important fact that has allowed me and given me the inspiration to really tell the story of the beauty of our city, the beauty of ATC and the beauty of you. Dr. Thomas shared that Next year will be the first time that a graduate of a technical school like ATC will make more than the graduate of a four-year college with a liberal arts degree. Indeed, you are in a special place in a special time with a special set of particular skills that we need right now in this world. Because here's what's happening. The world is moving forward and advancing while at the same time circling back to those concepts that are tried and true. So as we develop our ability to do things with technology as new industries like film and entertainment come to our town, what we also know is that the ability to think and make things, to fix things, is something that will be so essential to our success as a community. And where else in this city can you go and find people who can think through a problem, fix something, and make something that is of use, that is transformative, and that is innovative, not only in industry, but basic solutions in our neighborhood create an enhanced quality of life. Where else can you go but Atlanta Technical College? Where else can we go but right here in this room? You are in a special place, in a special time, with a special set of skills. So get ready. You are prepared. Somebody is going to be knocking on your door. And if that knock does not come soon enough, you go kick the door down. And make the case that you are a value add proposition, that you can make the difference, that you are the innovator who knows how to think who knows how to build, and who knows how to fix things. You have the credentials. You are going to get that piece of paper that says you can do, you will do. The world is waiting on you to step up and say, let's go to work. So with that being said, I just want to say, as Yasmin said, that become the best of who you are.
The power to change is in you. And that power to change that is within you grants unto you the power to change the world. Graduates, 2015 graduates of Atlanta Technical College, I salute you, I applaud you. You are the change and the future that our world needs. Let's walk together. Let's make a difference. I'll be standing right beside you with an army of people who understand how beautiful you are, how important you are, and how much you're going to change this place on earth. Congratulations to you.